Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I'd do another video for you today um, about my new Colt Single Action Army. Um, there seemed to be a little bit of interest in the last couple I put up so I thought I'd do another. Um, and the purpose of this video was really to introduce you to this. Um, now, as I mentioned a little while ago, I, I knew they made a pellet version as opposed to a BB version. I was quite tempted and basically I've caved in. Um, so I picked this up the other day, um, it's really the first time I've actually had a proper chance to play around with it. Um, and so far I'm quite impressed. Um, and what I thought I'd do, this is the pellet version, I've got the other BB version on my hip here, um, and I think what I'll do is I'll bring the camera just a little bit closer in and just give you a bit of a side-by-side -side comparison. Right then guys, so here are our two air pistols. Um, as I'm sure you can see from the camera there, they're pretty much identical. Um, and they're, they're operationally they work in exactly the same way. So if I take the BB version, you know, you've got full cock, you've got half cock. Half cock allows you to open the loading gate, cycle your chamber and drop out your, um, your cartridges. The cartridges themselves are completely hollow and you pop either your BB or your pellet in there, load that in and fire away. Um, now, let me put that there. with the um, pellet version, which is the new one we're looking at, exactly the same um, thing. So you've got full cock, half cock, loading gate, cartridges. Um, the main difference really for this one is uh, one to calibre next to your little Colt symbol. You've got 45 millimeter, and then in brackets 1.77 denoting the calibre of your pellet. Um, now the biggest difference really apart from that, and, and obviously this has a rifled barrel as well, uh, obviously because it's for shooting pellets, that's why I wanted it. The rifled barrel um, should improve accuracy seems to be at the moment, um, I'm still playing around with it so I'll, I'll do another video about accuracy between the two. Um, but what I did want to show you was this, so obviously they come with these cartridges. Now the one on the left here is a brass one and the one on the right here is a sort of a stainless steel type material. Um, now the stainless steel is for the pellet version and the brass is for the BB. I asked my firearms dealer when I bought it, are these interchangeable? Um, the main reason being is I much prefer the, um, the brass ones here. Um, and when I eventually get around to getting my gun rig made up and it's going to have bullet loops, I would r much rather have these brass ones. Now he um, had a look into it for me and basically said, no, you can't interchange them. You have to use the steel ones for the pellet version and you have to use the brass ones for the BB version. Um, I also dropped an email to Umarex directly and asked them the same question and was told the same thing. Um, now, that's fine, and if that's the case, that is the case. However, looking at these, and if I give you a bit of a close-up here, um, these ones here are uh, on the left, so you've got the, the brass one and the silver one, they're identical at the front. And if I flip it round, they're actually identical on the back as well. Apart from the stamping that's, that's been put onto the end here, you've got the same seals, they're the same size, um, you know, the holes are the same diameter and the same on the front as well. Um, and these cartridges also interchange between the two pistols, so they, they will fit perfectly in either cylinder. Um, now, what I don't want to do is go ahead and ruin a perfectly uh, good brand new air gun by doing something I've been told you're not supposed to do. What I am curious about is, if, do any of you guys have any experience? Have, do, have you bought the BB version? Because that was the first one that came out. Um, and I think that was about a year um, being sold before Umarex brought out the pellet version, I think by, by popular request. Um, and yeah, has anybody tried interchanging these cartridges and what sort of success have you had? Um, I've tried Googling it, it doesn't seem to be a great deal on there at the moment. Um, what I have done is I have shot pellets out of the brass cartridge in the smooth ball barrel for the BB version. Um, and I am getting a little bit more accuracy out of it. Um, so that's something I'll probably do another video on as well and if I get any more information about this or if any of you guys in the comments can let me know if you've had any personal experience with it um, I may go ahead and try using the brass one in this um, pellet cylinder uh, even though you know we've been told you should only use the, uh, the stainless steel ones. Um, personally I just can't see why not. They appear to be identical. The material that this cylinder is made out of shouldn't make any difference between BB and pellet. 
Um, so I'm really not sure. You know, maybe it's a marketing thing, I don't know. Maybe it's because they want to be able to denote the difference between one that should have a pellet in it and one that should have a BB in it, so you don't mix them up. Um, the, the issue being is if you were to, you can put pellets through a smoothbore barrel, what you can't do is put steel BBs through a rifle barrel. If you do that, you'll chew up the rifling, um, certainly if you do it more than a few times, um, and then you've ruined the rifling on this gun. Um, so really, that was it, guys. Um, I just wanted to give you a bit of a side-by-side. -side. Um, as you can see, let me just get these move that out of the way so you know side by side you know these are both almost identical and I wanted the same finish on both because I really really did like it um, and in fact there was one other thing I wanted to show you um, and this is really just in case you're thinking about buying one of these yourself um, now I don't it, it's kind of a problem, but it's not something I have a problem with, if that makes sense. So basically, if you look at this, uh, which is my new one, you know, it's a blued finish, very nice bluing as well. Um, you know, it goes all the way down the strap of the handle and on the inside as well, trigger guard, trigger, um, and then the rest of the weapon. Um, and it's been very, very nicely done. However, I've had the BB version for just over a month now, and, and in fairness, it's had a lot of heavy use. Um, you know, I bought the holster for it and I've been practicing kind of drawing and then reholstering. Plus I've been doing a lot of shooting as well as time's allowed. Um, and what I've noticed is this. Now you look at the back strap of the handle, I have completely worn off the blued finish. Um, likewise on the underside, partly on the trigger guard and the trigger and most notably um, here where you've got the cult symbol, I've actually, and let me get that a bit closer to the camera for it, I've actually worn a lot of that away as well. Um, now for me it's not a problem, I actually think it makes the gun look slightly nicer, it gives it that kind of used appearance, um, and for me that's no issue, so I really don't mind. Um, but if you are buying it because you want the whole thing to have a really nice blued finish, um, I would just say just be mindful um, that you know when you're giving it a lot of heavy use, you know, I've managed to wear this away, you know, I haven't been sort of rubbing at it or anything, this is just through normal holding, um, you know, drawing, cocking, firing, uh, reholstering and so on and so forth. Um, but again, you know, I wanted to show you this before I start using this one, um, you know, before I start sort of playing around with it more, because I suspect the same thing will happen and I'll let you know if it does, just, just for your own sort of uh, benefit if you like. But interestingly, if you look very closely at the cylinder, both sides of the cylinder, and both sides and the top of the barrel. Um, there's absolutely no um, markings and none of the bluing is coming away. Um, now the cylinder and the top of the frame and the barrel are what makes contact with the holster when it's, in the, when it's actually sitting in the leather. Um, so it has to be just my hand. Now whether this is to do with the oils that come off your hands and your fingers or whether this is just the, the part that sort of gets contacted most um, I'm really not sure. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's just something that I'd noticed. I don't have a problem with it. Um, I think it looks really, really nice regardless. Um, but again, if you are buying it as a display piece that you're going to be handling a lot, um, or you just, just specifically want that finish to stay on, um, you know, maybe just something to think about. Right then guys, well there you go, that was just meant to be a really short, quick video that sort of got away from me a little bit. I just wanted to give you a little bit of an introduction to this. Um, specifically, I wanted to show you it in its kind of brand new state um, before I've had a chance to kind of use it and maybe wear things down a little bit. Um, you know, I know some of you will probably agree that, you know, a month's worth of use um, it's probably a little bit quick for things like finishes to be wearing off, um, but then again it is only on the handle um, and not on any parts of the barrel or the frame or the cylinder, so I don't know, maybe that's my fault for you know maybe having kind of slightly dirty or oily hands, I'm not sure, uh, but again for me I actually think it adds to the character so I'm really not concerned. Um, but you know, I hope that you, got, you guys are enjoying this kind of thing. You know, leave me a comment below um, if you are. I'm, I'm more than happy to do more of these kind of videos. Um, I didn't do any shooting testing today, but I am planning on doing that in the future. Um, and also, if any of you have got experience with these, and I know that uh, Umarex don't just make this model. Um, I think they do a couple of other Colt revolvers, and there are other. Uh, manufacturers that make similar and I'm just really keen to know whether or not anyone's had any experience with using the supposedly brass BB cartridges 
um, for lead pellets and vice versa. Um, it's something I'd really like to try, but again, until I get a bit more feedback from people, I'm, I'm not willing to risk kind of messing up a, a brand new air gun. Uh, but anyway, guys, hope it was useful. Comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks, guys.